Sketch the graph of y equals the absolute value of x minus 1. So before we get into actually sketching the graph, let's quickly review what this, this means, this absolute value terminology. So if we have the absolute value of, say, minus 2, uh, what this means is uh, these absolute value symbols that are the, the lines here, either side of this minus 2, what it's asking for us is for us to determine the magnitude of this number or the non-negative value of this number. So the non-negative value or the magnitude of negative 2 is 2. Also, if we were to have, let's, let's just consider one more, the absolute value of 4. So the absolute value of 4 is asking for the magnitude of the number in between these absolute value symbols or the non-negative value. Well, 4 is already a non-negative number. So the magnitude or the non-negative value of 4 is simply 4. That's what we mean by absolute value. And here we're asked to sketch the graph of y equals the absolute value of x minus 1. So a good way to go about this is to draw up a table of values. So we'll draw up a list of x values and then figure out their corresponding y values. And then we'll sketch those on the graph. So here we're going to consider the values of minus 2, x equals minus 1, x equals 0, x equals 1, and x equals 2. Let's consider this first one. At x equals minus 2, what we do is we say y equals the absolute value of minus 2 minus 1. Well, minus 2 minus 1, that's minus 3. So here we have the absolute value of minus 3. And by our definition above, it's asking for the non-negative value or the magnitude of minus 3, and that's simply 3. So we have at x equals minus 2, y equals 3. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. So here at x equals minus 1, we replace x with minus 1 here. So we get minus 1 minus 1. Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. So the absolute value of minus 2. And this is 2 because the non-negative or magnitude uh, of minus 2 is 2. Okay, what about x equals 0? Well, at x equals 0, we have 0 minus 1. The absolute value of 0 minus 1. This is just the absolute value of minus 1. And this is just 1. What about x equals 1? What well, x equals 1, we have y equals 1 minus 1. This equals the absolute value of 0. The absolute value of 0, the non-negative value of 0, the, the, the magnitude of 0, is simply 0. And what about x equals 2? So at x equals 2, we have y equals 2 minus 1, the absolute value of 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, so this is the absolute value of 1. And here we have the absolute value of 1 is simply 1. Okay, well let's go about graphing these on our graph. So the first one we have is the point is minus 2 and 3. Let's just list these here. Minus 1 and 2, it's minus 1 and 2. 0 and 1, 0 and 1. 1 and 0. And we have 2 and 1. So here this is 2 units left of the origin and 3 units up. That's minus 2, 3. So that's going to be here. Here we have minus 1 and 2. So it's going to be minus 1. So 1 unit left of the origin, 2 units up. Like this. Here we have 0 and 1. So 0 units left and right of the origin, 1 unit up. Here we have 1 and 0. So 0, sorry, 1 unit. <coughs> so 1 unit right of the origin and 0 units up or down. And here we have 2, 1. So this is 2 units right of the origin and 1 unit up. Okay, and without, given our knowledge that absolute value graphs often, not always, but they often look like a V shape, it's going to be quite clear here that our function is going to look something like this. Now, of course, if you're drawing this on pen and paper, you'd use a ruler, uh, but this is a, a pretty good estimation for what the absolute value function will look like. We can even label this as y equals the absolute value of x minus 1. And we're done.